In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to add a border to your images in Photoshop. So, I'm going to be showing you guys two different methods for adding a border to your images. And the very first method is going to be a destructive method. By destructive, I mean you're going to be you're not going to be able to change the color of the boundary or the border of your images later on after you have been able to apply it. And the second method is going to be a non-destructive by non-destructive i mean you're going to be able to change the color of the borders of your images after you have been able to apply that given color of that border to the photo so let's click in and if i show you guys the very first way which is the destructive way so by destructive you're just going to come right here to image and come to canvas size so when you come to canvas size just change this from pixels and change it to inches right here so we're going to put a value of around 10 inches because we just want to add 10 inches meaning 5 on this side and 5 on this side then same for the height height rather just going to put it at 10 so make sure relative is checked because we want the image to be right in the center of the image or in the center of the border then after doing all that Right here we have the option of color. So when you come and select this option right here, you're going to be able to apply that color just once. So meaning when you apply that color, you're not going to be able to change it after it has been added to the borders of your image. So for this case, let's go, let's try a white one. So you can choose whichever color you want, depending on your taste and preference. For, for this case, you're just going to go with a plain white border or boundary for this image and simply come right here to the options and hit ok and come and hit ok right here and you can see it has added that boundary or that border to this image so you can see that we have five inches above and five below then five and five this side so this is a non-destructive because right now we have no way we can change the color of uh, this border or boundary for this very image so you can't change it from white to any other color if at all we wish to change the color after it has been applied so i'm just going to undo that so that is the destructive way so the non-destructive way is going to be simply come and click on this padlock to unlock this layer so just come and unlock it so when you unlock it is going to change from background to maybe layer zero and after you have done that, you're going to do the same process. You're just going to come back to image and come back to canvas size. Then we're just going to change it to inches from pixels. Then you're just going to add the same values. That is 10. And you're going to come down here and put 10 to. Make sure you check relative because we want the image to be in the center of the borders. We just want the borders to be on the very sides and after we have done that we're just going to come and hit ok just like that so as you can see the borders have no color and it is like we have these tiny boxes right on the sides or on the boundaries of the image so right now we just want to get a color that we want to insert onto the borders of this very image so what we want to do we're just going to come to the adjustments and come to solid color so under solid color you can select white if at all you wish to use a white border and come and simply hit ok right there and now just want to put the image on top of this white border that we have just created so in order to change that simply drag this and place it below the image so you can see that we now have this white border and this is the non-destructive way so what we want to do if at all you want to change the color of this border we can simply come and double click right here and we can change uh, the color to whichever color we prefer so we have so many options right here so you can choose whichever color you want or you can even sample from the outfits of the model and just get the color that works best for you for this case so you can choose any bright color and simply hit ok so 
If at all you feel it is not enough for you and you don't like such a color, just come back simple and look for a color that you desire for your liking and now you can come and simply hit ok so this is the non-destructive way so depending on the amount of time and the time you have at disposal you can simply opt for this if at all you have the time but this is going to be a more or a better and more efficient way because you can change the color of the background later on then if at all you want to prefer a one-time selection you can opt for the very first method that i showed you guys in this tutorial. and after you have done all that you can simply merge these layers by holding down control or command and selecting both and you can simply hit shift control e or shift command e on the keyboard or you can come right here to layer and come all the way down to merge layers so when you merge layers it is going to merge everything for you but remember after you have been able to merge you're not going to be able to change these values after or later on after you have already merged the layer so i would prefer that you rather not merge when you're not yet satisfied with the results from uh, the background addition or the color of the background that you have been able to add. So this is all for today's tutorial. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.